Hi everyone, uh, it's a beautiful day here out at the Ocheta camp. Um, it's been a few days since I've updated, I had a little problem with my phone. Either the cold killed it or the cops killed it or something. But um, I got a new phone and I've been working on this project still so I'm back here at the schoolhouse. So I came over here yesterday, actually I had to shovel out a bunch of snow to make room for the, uh, the mass pad here and um, I built the box yesterday over at Sacred Stones, we had a lot of tools. So basically I've got this uh, perma base board, this cement board with perlite on the inside to protect against heat. There's an air gap there. Um, none of the screws go through the perma base from this side so there won't be any heat transfer through the screws. They just stick in from the other side. And then there's these holes in the uh, plywood outside which will allow air into that space and allow it to evacuate. Might even do some convective heating, who knows. But um, my main worry is protecting is the heat since there is wood here. And I'm going to put perma base on these pallets as well. Um, I designed the box just to fit onto three pallets. Um, I had to go find the right size pallets, but um, it should work. I'm going to build that box up today, hook up all my uh, stovepipe, and test fire this thing, make sure it's working really well. Um, and then we can get some soil in here, some subsoil. I'm just going to do packed dirt because it's become difficult to find any gravel and cob is impossible in these weather. So, not impossible, but very hard. <laughs> um, there's a cold snap coming, so I'm hoping I can get this finished today or tomorrow. Get it fired up, teach people how to work it. And uh, they got a canvas, it's in Mandan right now, they got to go pick it up. Um, so hopefully they can get this covered too. I think having a heated big old heater in here will give them motivation to do that, I'm hoping. But uh, I'm just going to continue my work and uh, get this done. So I got the box built and put together on the pallets. I got the holes cut for the uh, connection with the core over here. It's all lined in with the uh, perma base cement board. So next step is to uh, put all my stove pipe in there, get it hooked up, get a chimney going at the top of this, and then uh, test fire it. Alright, uh, success. I got the, the bench built over here and um, I got the pipes all laid into it, the stove pipe. Um, when I put the dirt in there, I'm going to make sure it's all um, upslope using the level um, to make the final position of the pipes. So this is just to test it. Um, I did get the uh, thing fired up. Just a little bit of chimney pipe here. I need to put it through the roof, but I don't have a ladder. They're using it right now, so this is working. Got this fired up. Got a sideways flames in there. And uh, there's a second thermosiphon on the chimney here. It's working really well. Very clear. Just steam up there. So I'm happy with how this is going. Um, be ready to come here back, come back here tomorrow with some dirt and try to fill this box up. It's probably gonna take a few truckloads, but I'll make it work. So there's a lot of work that needs to be done here at Sacred Stone Camp. Each day's a new task. Um, right now I'm waiting for a truck to move dirt over to my heater, but for now we're digging holes for outhouses. <laughs> it's a nice beautiful day um, for digging. Same plenty warm. But uh, I'm real happy that the porta potties aren't going to be working because it's getting too cold. But I'm real happy that they're taking care of their own waste here by uh, doing outhouses. A lot better than mixing it with water. All right, good times. We got a lot of work done today. Uh, these people are cleaning out the last of the dirt from my truck. Took the shell off so we could move some dirt. Have all these buckets to move it in here with. And we started filling up the mass. So I've been using the shovel here to pack in all around the pipes. Stepping on it the whole time, so this is nice and dense, good mass. Um, thankfully, the dirt is already wet, so that helps uh, get it packed in there because of the snow. Um, this is a little bit sandy, silty kind of stuff. Um, it's not pure sand, so you can pack it in, get all the spaces uh, filled up, so it's not insulative and definitely going to be heavy. Definitely going to have a lot of mass, and so I'm real happy about this. We'll have to get another load tomorrow morning. Come over and put the chimney in. Fire her up. See how uh, warm she starts getting. Yeah. All right, pretty uh, crazy conditions out here at Standing Rock. Um, yesterday we got really amazing news that the 
Army Corps of Engineers will not issue a permit for this pipeline. So that's really great news, a big celebration there last night. Um, but the fight continues because um, Dapple's still here. I mean, who knows what they're going to do. And, uh, you know, the fight's not over until it's over. And really, this is just one, in my mind, this is just one battle and a really long war for our planet. For uh, the future that we want, not the future that the energy companies want and the oil companies want. So, this is just the beginning. So, I'll continue to work on the project. Hopefully, we can finish it today. we got everything we need. So, yesterday we filled it up with uh, dirt more than halfway. We got another truck full we had to shovel out of the snow this morning and thankfully they covered this up for us so we can clear that off and put the rest of the dirt in here and then it'll be ready to go. Starbell Schoolhouse at Sacred Stone. Worst case. Um, last night and all today we've had quite a blizzard going on, another winter storm. High winds, cold temperatures. Um, yeah, so we're trying to get this space ready for people to sleep in here and stay warm. Um, as well as trying to finish the space off. So, the morning, uh, putting all these scaffoldings up and getting uh, bunks built on top of them. Um, and inside of them, these benches, so people can sleep in here tonight and stay warm in the cold snap that is coming. Um, also, the last few days, these guys have been putting in this amazing tongue and groove ceiling. You can see here, and right now they're working on uh, covering up these gabled ends with more of that tongue and groove so we can get the uh, insulation blown in here. Um, hopefully, we can get that out here with the roads and the condition they are in the next couple days, but we'll see. Um, for now, it's staying pretty warm. With this rock mass heater going, we actually slept in here last night, and uh, this kept us warm uh, most of the night. We just had to kept, keep feeding it, but uh, the barrel's putting off lots of heat. We're keeping water warm on that. The bench is starting to dry out, and so uh, you can sit on it now and stay nice and warm, if not a little damp. But it's going good. We're making do with what we got in crazy conditions. Hello. So as you can see, I'm back at the Ant Village in Montana uh, with my house here. And I uh, got here last night after driving back from Sandy Rock for a couple days. I'm about to leave again and go down to California and uh, see my family again. Um, so I ended up finishing the Rock Mass Heater there at Ochetti Camp um, a couple days ago. Got all the, the mass tamped into it, um, got it all piped up. Um, and then the blizzard storm came in and blew a bunch of snow around, so I went back. Um, it was covered in a few feet of snow, so my plan was to teach the guys how to uh, light it and run it and everything before I left, but none of them were there. It was all covered in snow, and um, it looked like there was a little window for me to leave and get out before uh, the weather got real bad, and so that's what I did, and um, I've got the number I'm in touch with them so I can teach them how to light it. Uh, my friend Nathan is going to try to get the uh, structure covered. Um, try to arrange that, get some tarps and stuff, so at least it's in a covered space, because once that thing is covered, it, it'll get that space nice and hot. Um, yeah, it's kind of weird <laughs> uh, building something in an open space like that and then not having it be covered like I expected it to. Um, so I was hoping to see a bunch of people sitting on it and being warm, but then get that. Um, it's just uh, how it is, so hopefully I get to see that in the future. We'll get an update from Nathan. Or Jose, who was working with. But uh, other than that, the whole experience at Standing Rock, man, um, I don't know if I can sum it up right now, but it was just such an amazing journey to meet all these new people, um, permies and natural builders, and people just with such passion and just such like willingness to come and serve, you know. I mean, nobody was getting paid to be out there. We were getting fed and camping in the snow. But we just all came together and built this amazing straw bale structure in like a month. And uh, it is co all coming together really good in the end. Got the ceiling in. Um, they should be playing, blowing in insulation as I speak right now. And uh, 
getting that place to be a nice warm place for people to stay in this winter. Um, North North Dakota winters are no joke. I'm realizing that. Um, I came back here, and I was like, wow, it's warm. <laughs> There's something in high 20s and snowing, but at least there wasn't, you know, negative 15 wind chill in your face the whole time. But uh, aside from that, it was just a really amazing, amazing journey to be a part of. Um, I'm sure I'll write more about it in the future. But um, I'm excited to go back there in the springtime and help them finish off that, that schoolhouse and do all the finishing touches and work further on the whole permaculture design of that place there at Sacred Stone Camp. Um, it really is going to be a permaculture demonstration site well into the future with uh, huge media attention. So that's a really exciting prospect. Really excited about all the new friends I made um, and working with them in the future. So, um, all right, so it's been about three weeks since I was out at uh, Standing Rock. I'm now in Southern California with my family. Um, I was hoping to get some pictures or video of the, the Rock and Mass Heater working for you guys um, for this update before I release the video, uh, but I haven't been able to get those from my friends out at Standing Rock. Um, they're running into some challenges. But I do have updates. The, the structure did get covered, um, and the stovepipe was installed. Um, there was a little bit of challenges with revolving around the switching between camps. Um, some people left, others moved in and uh, made a mess, but that all got cleaned up and um, the heater was fired and people are using that space now. So um, I'm really happy about that, um, especially going into winter, it's getting very cold there now. Um, also with the straw bale, um, the insulation, insulation got put into the ceiling uh, and all the windows and doors were installed. They installed another uh, with just regular wood stove and people have been hanging out there, keeping it warm, and uh, they've been working on that through the winter. So I just want to give you guys an update. I hope you really hope you enjoyed watching uh, this series. I had an amazing time out at Standing Rock. Definitely changed my life. Um, met a lot of amazing people, uh, and it's truly been a historical moment in our in our times. I think so. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching these. And if you like what I'm doing with my videos, please, as always, go out to patreon.com slash jessegrimes. You can be able to uh, become a patron. Uh, be sure to subscribe on the videos down below. Hit the like button, share it, and uh, thank you for watching.